Hello guys, me Carl Santos, aka Happy Carl 957 and I'm gonna be doing a new game that you have all been waiting for for over a year now, so it's gonna be NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode, so I'm gonna explain about the physics in the gameplay so far, so it's basically a review kinda game tutorial, so yeah so when I I actually got my Xbox One controller. I had to buy a new one because the left thumbstick was broken and I had to get a uh, gray and blue Xbox One controller that was made in basically this year but hasn't been an issue. As you can tell by the graphics and the gameplay, physics, you name it similar to last year's NASCAR Heat 4, you know, because it's just a sequel, it's a copy and paste game, basically, and, and through all the reviews I've seen from everybody, there's a lot of negativity, and, but for me, I've been succeeding a lot, you know, like, back in NASCAR Heat 4, I won a bunch of championships the right way. Did it for dirt track series. Did it for trucks. Did it for Xfinity. And then did it for cups. So. so, in this clip, I was really battling Matt DiBenedetto and Quinn Huff for the win at the Daytona 500. And I mean 2020. I'm telling you. It's just. That's the video I wanted to put out there just to show how amazing the frames per second is. You know, the, like the optimal should be 60, so maybe 70 to 80 is kind of getting there, but hey, at least I had big runs and was able to get the Quinn Hubs bumper when I needed to, and yeah. It, it's, it wasn't a bad first race for me in the Cup Series, like I drove the number 43 World Ride Technology Chevy replacing Bubba Wallace for the season and I don't mind if Bubba takes a year off, I just want to see how, how much talent I got behind the wheel and realizing, oh, I can make it in this sport, you know? Ooh. Overtime. <laughs> I I lost it for an overtime finish. So. Spoiler alert. <laughs> so, hmm, what can I remember from this race? So, so lap one started from the rear of the field, made my way up through the pack. But the bad thing is, didn't get any stage points. Meaning, when race twenty six means the most I'm gonna be in big trouble if I can't get out of that bubble spot this year so so the AI difficulty I put this year for creator mode is legendary and that's great because I want to up my game and not make it too easy so okay let's cut to the chase now <laughs> I'm in fourth position Getting a big run on Alex Bowman. Yeah. As you can see there, I'm not sucking for, to the draft as well as I should. Like, the car is like all over the place. Even on the low lane, you know. And then I make a big run down low. Alex Bowman, and hmm. that just wasn't enough to get to the Benedetto, or so. And then Martin Truex Jr. tries to go below me, and I almost spun. And there you have it. Matthew De Benedetto is the 2020 Daytona 500 champion in the NASCAR Heat 5 game virtually. So, <laughs> speed rating of 105. I mean, and I finished third. And then Quinn Half, he's a surprise, even a second. <laughs> and. So based on my point about the physics and gameplay of this uh, NASCAR Heat 5, 
I really felt like I was in the cockpit and trying to maneuver my way through the field and I had to do that twice or should I say three times if I remember what I was going through in the race and yeah I know I can make the playoffs this year and the drivers I might be around a lot maybe in Matt the Benita, the Daytona 500 champion is already in the playoffs so yeah and then maybe Austin Dillon and Ricky Stanhouse in the mile and a half race tracks you know I'm just trying to foreshadow what will happen if I was in a situation trying to go my way through the field and all that so yeah just to give you a heads up I went through and did four races already so I did Daytona, Las Vegas, Auto Club, Phoenix I'm already up to Atlanta so I'm doing a cup season, I'm doing a truck season, and I'm doing Extreme Dirt Tour. So the only series in which I own a race team is the truck series. So otherwise, Extreme and Cup, I just join a team. So that's all I can say. So if you want to get NASCAR Heat 5 and support the 704 Gamer community, just Get it for fifty dollars, standard edition. So, so that's basically it. So, I I just want to give myself a positive vibe about this review. So, so I make a happy Carlo Night fifty seven, and you all have a great day and have a great week and peace out.